Oh, there, little kitty. Don't pick that mushroom. Why not? It looks kind of cute. It might look harmless, but it could be one of the most poisonous mushrooms in the world. Poisonous? Which one is it? Let's take a closer look. This might be the infamous Death Gap, the deadliest mushroom on Earth. Zoom in. If you ever gone hiking or camping in the woods, you probably stumbled upon mushrooms growing in damp, shaded corners of the forest. Some look like they belong in a fairy tale. Others like they should be in a salad. But beware, there's one mushroom out there that definitely doesn't belong on your plate. In fact, it's earned a terrifying nickname, the Death Cap, scientifically known as a Manita Phalloides. This innocent-looking mushroom is responsible for over 90% of mushroom-related casualties worldwide. And here's the wild part, it doesn't even look deadly. The death cap isn't covered in spikes or flashing red warning signs. It's a smooth, dome-shaped mushroom with a greenish-yellow or pale white cap. When young, it even resembles popular edible mushrooms like straw mushrooms or puff balls, which is why so many people accidentally eat it. But don't be fooled, just half of one cap can be enough to end a healthy adult's life. So, what makes the death cap so dangerous? The answer lies in a group of toxins called amatoxins. These chemicals are incredibly resilient. You can boil them, freeze them or dry them and they'll still be just as lethal. Once inside the body, Amatoxins go to work blocking special enzymes called RNA polymerases. Think of them as tiny machines inside your cells that help make proteins. Without them, your cells can't do their job and your organs, especially your liver, start shutting down. What makes it even scarier is how sneaky it is. After someone eats a death cap, they might feel fine for 6 to 12 hours. Then the nausea, vomiting and stomach cramps hit, often leading doctors to think it's just regular food poisoning. But by the time the real damage is happening, usually in the liver, it can be too late. You might be wondering, why would a mushroom even need to be this toxic? That's actually a mystery. Scientists called amatoxins secondary metabolites, which means they are not essential for the mushroom's survival. And unlike some plants that use toxins to protect themselves from being eaten, spreading spores through animals, can actually help mushrooms reproduce. So, it's strange that the death cap has evolved a poison that endangers its potential helpers. What we do know is that the death cap is now spreading. Originally from Europe, it's now been found across North America, Australia and even parts of Asia. That's because it forms close relationships with certain trees and when those trees were planted in new places, the mushrooms quietly came along for the ride. Thankfully, if someone is treated quickly and aggressively, usually with IV fluids and careful monitoring, they can survive. But not all hospitals recognize death cap poisoning right away and time is critical. Therefore, it's important to spread awareness about it. So, 
Here's the bottom line. Never eat a wild mushroom unless you're 100% sure what it is. Even experienced foragers have made deadly mistakes. Nature is full of surprises. Some delicious, some deadly. When it comes to mushrooms, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Trivia time! Did you know one of the best ways to tell death caps apart is by checking the base of the mushroom. Yes, they have a large bulbous cup-like structure called vulva at the very bottom of the stalk. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Ethan Alonso Ferrer. Hope you learned something critical today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, Kitty, still thinking about eating those mushrooms? I'm a cat! We are carnivores! I was picking them for you! Uh-oh, uh-oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs>